Isaiah, can you just tell me a little bit about what the last 48 hours have been like? I imagine it has been very hectic for you. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Um, you know, I love Texas. Um, you know, they, they gave me an opportunity to go to Minnesota, and Minnesota gave me the opportunity to come here. So everything worked out, and, you know, this is where I want to be. And this is, you know, I grew up a Yankee fan, so there's no other place I'd rather be, and, you know, everything worked out. Okay, so you get to Fort Myers, you touch down there, and then how quickly did you find out, hey, this is not your destination? Yeah, um, I met the team. Um, they're really excited to have me. Um, you know, they really, really welcomed me. It wasn't just like a come in and, and then you're traded. It was, they're very welcoming. They really wanted me. And, um, you know, I went to bed that night after taking the physicals, and, you know, I was right about to go to sleep, and I got the call that I was traded. And, um, you know, they, they seemed like... They thought, I think they thought I was going to be sad, <laughs> but I was so happy. I was so happy to, to get the call here because I wanted to be here from Texas. So, um, you know, it was bittersweet, but, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And I always wanted to be like Derek Jeter, so I get the opportunity. I'm stoked. I was going to ask you, what was your initial reaction? Were you in disbelief at all that, hey, I just got here and I'm going to the Yankees where I wanted to be all along? Yeah, my dream came true. Um, I worked my, my, my tail off my, you know, my whole life to be here. Um, you know, I worked my butt off in Texas to give myself an opportunity to, to be on a winning team. And, um, you know, I got the opportunity to, to win a World Series this year. So, you know, I can't ask for anything else. Being a Yankees fan growing up, being a Jeter fan growing up, did you have a favorite team? Um, you know, they're all my favorites. Just uh, the history of, 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 of the club. Um, look, walking in the, you know, the clubhouse and looking around and seeing the pictures of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Thurman Munson. I, I'm a baseball freak, so you know, I, I do this for for the rings and and for for the love of the game. And, and this organization is is a class organization, and it's the best in the world. And you know, everything here is about winning. And the history of, of the game, it's uh, it means so much to me. And you know, I'm just happy to be somewhere where that matters. Have you imagined what it might be like for you putting pinstripes on opening day, opening up against the Red Sox, being a part of that rivalry? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's funny because, uh, you know, every day I was playing for the Rangers, I was kind of envisioning myself, you know, Derek Jeter a little bit. So, you know, I'm nowhere close to him um, yet. But, you know, I'm going to work my tail off, do every, anything I can. And nothing matters unless you got the ring. So, um, you know, we're going to do everything we can to, to get 28. You've had an interesting career so far. You've caught for a little bit, something that you had never done before, kind of thrown into the fire. But how has that helped you uh, kind of relate to pitchers uh, it's, it's helped me a lot I've been able to um, you know understand game calling I understand um, the per different personalities that pitchers have you know they're all different they all have a different schedule you know they pitch one day a week so um, they go about things a different way but having that to, to, to deal with them and um, from behind the plate it's given me the opportunity to understand that and um, you know they really appreciate the effort I put that put out at shortstop because at the end of the day when I was catching I was helping them uh, and now when I'm playing shortstop you know I'm helping them as well but Knowing the game calling is really helping me um, at shortstop, and it really helps me build a relationship and trust with the pitchers. How would you describe yourself, not only as a shortstop, but as a teammate? Uh, I work my butt off. Um, I play hard, and um, that, that's all you can do. Um, you know, whatever I can bring every day, that, that's what I got, and um, I'm a winner. If they're firing on all cylinders, it looks like that offense can do a lot of damage. What do you think it'll be like to be a part of that lineup? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, looking in there, seeing the guys on the team, you know, I'll definitely be in the bottom of the lineup. Um, but I'm going to do everything I can to help the team win. And then at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If it's moving runners over, stealing bases, uh, putting the ball in the four hole, putting the ball in the gap. Um, you know, I kind of got different clubs in my bag. So just picking the right one. Isaiah, thanks for the time. Thank you so much.